If your query is producing a large number of results, you typically want to page your way through the results and present the results to the user a batch at a time. This makes it much easier for the user to visualize and they might use something like a next and previous button to go through the pages. You can do this with a link query quite easily. We need some example data. So here I have a simple array of five different names in alphabetical order. Now imagine the user wants to page through this two entries at a time. We take our list and we use the link operator called take. You give it the number of entries, in our case two, it will give us the first two entries and then it will just ignore the rest. Now imagine the user presses the next button on the screen, they want to see the second page of results. This is where we bring in our second link operator called skip. Skip will, as the name suggests, skip the first two entries take the next two, our second page's worth, and then it will ignore the rest. Finally, to get the next page, we're going to skip four entries, so we're going to skip over the first two pages, take two entries, and then we're done. So you can see how a simple combination of skip and take allows you to page through, and in this case I've only used two items per page, but you could have 10, 50, 100, whatever makes sense for your application. Let's add some right line statements and now we can see if it works. There we go, page one, the first two entries, page two, the next two entries, and page three is the last remaining entry. There are some other link operators in this same area. For example, take last with a number. As the name suggests, it will only take the last two entries and ignore everything before that. You can also use the related skip last. This will take everything except the last two entries. Let's show that working. There we are. The last two entries and the first three entries. We have two final variations. Take while. Take while as an operator it has a single parameter, a predicate. In this case, we're checking the length for four. So the first entry and is four, therefore it's true. It will be taken and returned to the caller. The second entry, Bob, is three. That's false, in which case it will not be taken and returned. And it will, it will also short circuit. So all the remaining entries will now be ignored. We have the closely related skip while, also checking the length for four. So in this case, and is four, it will be skipped. The second entry, Bob, is three. That's false, it will not be skipped, it will be taken. And we now short circuit, and Charlie, Dick, and Enid will also be returned to the caller. So the difference between a WHERE clause is that in a WHERE clause, every item is tested against a predicate. A TAKE WHILE or SKIP WHILE will do its processing, and as soon as it hits FALSE, that's it. It will then just default the rest of the list according to whether it's a TAKE or a SKIP. Let's have a look at the output. Here we can see we did a take of the first item and then it short circuited and didn't return the rest. And the skip skipped the first one and then took all the remainder. And finally, there's a gotcha that you need to be aware of. The skip, take, and other related methods are not available in the query syntax. So you can see here I'm using the query syntax. I have to enclose it in brackets and turn it into method syntax to then carry on using my skip and take operators. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. If so, hit the like button. And until next time, happy coding.